Hey everybody, uh, welcome to week three. Uh, first up, we got some pictures of uh, some pickups I got that day. So first off, I found a Wiley kit and a Wiley cat. And then this was cool. Got a vintage He-Man. I already have the Sky Sled, but I put him on it because uh, he didn't have any armor that he came with. But seeing this guy really, really reminded me how much I like that original uh, He-Man sculpt, especially after all the controversy with like the Origins and then the re-release of the other Origins. There's something about this original one that really just... I mean, probably because I stared at it for years as a kid, right? But really did it for me. And then there's another picture of him with the uh, jet sled on the back. And I picked up um, one of the rock guys. I never remember which one's Rock On or Stone Dar, so don't crucify me. I don't remember this guy's name. But I picked him up. He's cool. You'll see him in a lot of my pictures, actually, but mostly in rock form. And this was cool. Um, I went to one of the stores, um, and they had, like, a foam finger kind of thing, but it's... Uh, Skeletor's sword that says haha you fools on it I just picked it up and then uh, we got some McDonald's I think they were McDonald's um, you know kids meal happy meal toys I don't know if they were McDonald's or another brand but and this one's really cool I'm a big Orco fan so uh, finding the 2000x Orco um, was a pretty good get for me there's another picture of him. Uh, like the little effect he comes with. And I just, I always liked Orko's design. Um, and I thought they did a really good job with the 2000X version of him. And then up last was a vintage Orko that I uh, picked up. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can see my little Thanos copter in the back, but I've had that for quite a while now. Um. Up next, um, some pictures of my Fright Zone. Um, so, let's see. Kind of like a battle I got, like most of my Horde guys up here. Um, I don't have the puppet, so I just have Grizzlor coming out of the cave. Uh, some of my tree is a little broken. Birdie missing here. Um, but yeah, this is my Fright Zone, and then I made a couple extra rocks back here. This cage was something I found at the dollar store. It had like a little dinosaur in it, but I thought it was just kind of cool, so I threw it in the background there and put some people on top of it. <clears throat> this um, cloud up here um, is actually just like a bottle and some cotton, some lights strung through it. Um, then I painted kind of like a green, uh, like a dark, grungy green uh, to make it look kind of like a toxic cloud and it like color shifts and stuff and I have like a remote for it and then um, the background again I'm just using tissue paper it's kind of one of my go-to for fillers in the background just to add like a splash of color and I went with like kind of a you know uh, green to kind of give it that toxic feel that I feel like the fright zone should have what do we got next uh, some more horde stuff um, this I'm using the the Primal Age Bat Cave um, for my Hordax Castle. I've got some lights strung through the top and then another light down on the bottom. Got a couple of guards, got Shadow Weaver up here, Multibot hanging out the window here. Um, but this um, castle works really good for Hordak and actually looks a lot like the castle they had in the uh, DC comic uh, forum. So that's what I went with. Still staying on the Horde theme. Um, this is my slime pit. So, uh, yeah, I took some paper, and because I don't have the slime, I don't want to slime my figures anyway. So I just took some like paper strips and um, put them through, and then some of that Easter grass kind of here to give it like the effect. And I don't have a zombie He-Man, so I went with the glow in the dark. And there is him glowing in the dark in it. Okay, so. And then um, another cool thing, uh, it's like this is on my display. Um, and, you know, Skeletor being victorious, um, 
I've got He-Man, some paper streamers for blood. I use paper a lot, um, actually, just like low, you know, cost effect. And I mean, it looks kind of cheesy, but you get the idea. Like he ripped He-Man's head off and he's kind of gloating with the power sword. Thought it was cool. Um, and then up next, uh, we have, this is my pop and swap He-Man, kind of harkening back to the Mark Taylor uh, prototype. I uh, used the new attorney ahead here, and then a 2000X body. This is one of the old Remco shields, and I gave him an axe. And then... This is outside my vintage uh, gray school. You saw a little bit of this um, in a previous shot. Here's the other half of that incense burner that broke that I used at the base of Snake Mountain. There's some foam rocks that I carved. This is a very beat up uh, vintage Panthor and a vintage battle um, damage Skeletor. And this is the Battlefield Warriors 2 pack uh, He Man and Battle Cat. We got a little well outside um, Castle Grayskull because I remember one of the old uh, comics. Him and Battle Cat staying uh, to get a drink there. And then uh, Vintage Tila. And here's like a up shot of, or a overhead shot of it. Just kind of trying to show off um, some more stuff. So, again, this week, not really a whole lot going on. I mean, I just kind of did pickups and some more stuff on the shelves. Um, you know, the Fright Zone um, had a little bit of action going to it, because that's how my display is. Um, and some little innovative stuff with, like, you know, the carved rocks and the paper usage and stuff like that. Uh, but again, nothing too exciting. These will continue um, to get a little bit better each week. I think next week is the last week of me just showing uh, what's on my shelf. Um, and we will see this wooden castle... Um, that's next to them, I think, next week. So, yeah, bear with me. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying these. Like I said, the content's going to get uh, better and more creative. Um, I'm still using an older phone on these shots at this point. Uh, camera's not the greatest, and I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but I will improve. I have improved, and you will see that. Uh, so, yeah, bear with me. Um, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, anything you guys want to tell me, like, um, think I should be doing better, I would love to hear it, um, or just, like, what do you think about the setups, uh, if you want to tell me, like, what you're doing with, uh, your shelves, that would be cool, any kind of creative ideas you have for your display, I'd love to hear it, if you have, um, an Instagram or whatever, um, let me know, I'll follow you, and check out your stuff too, um, alright, Thanks, guys. This has been week three. Um, looking forward to next week because I do feel like it's going to start getting a little bit better here. And um, I'm just glad anybody's checking it out. Thank you.